I've seen many companies make the change from packaged analytics to warehouse first analytics during my career. And today I want to talk to you about how going warehouse first can really help you understand how your product is actually being used. Product teams have it pretty tough nowadays. They are, in one way or another, partly responsible for every growth metric in a company. On top of this, nearly every product team has questions that they just can't answer with their current analytics setup, such as finding the full lifetime value of different cohorts. Before we get into it, let's start things off by talking about where a lot of companies start out before migrating to warehouse first analytics. Most small companies are using tools like Google Analytics, or maybe they've even upgraded to package product analytics tools like Heap to measure product performance. We call these tools package tools because they come in a package that appears to do everything you need from data collection to modeling to activation. These tools are fantastic when you're coming from a culture of not making business decisions based on data, but as companies start to grow, they realize the limitations of these tools, like for example, compliance challenges. Using these tools raises questions like, has this person actually consented to their data being used this way? You also might find a lack of depth to the data. While the tool may tell you that a user clicked on a certain button or visited a certain page on your website, it may not capture additional context around that interaction, such as what product features were used, how long the user spent on the page, and what led to them clicking that button in the first place. You might also find that you have very limited accuracy. Because the data isn't really designed to be used in a warehouse, if you do manage to export it to try to answer more challenging questions, you often have to spend days cleaning the data and trying to iron out all of the assumptions that have been made on that data on your behalf due to the focus on mass appeal of these packaged products. Warehouse first means that your warehouse or data lake becomes the center of your data operations, your central source of truth. When you get really high quality data into your data warehouse, you can execute on any advanced use case and product analytics is no exception. I'm gonna use Snowplow's tooling as an example. Let's say you wanna understand the full lifetime value of different cohorts, as mentioned earlier. With a warehouse first approach, you can get this level of granularity by capturing every single event that occurs in your product or service. Instead of relying on prepackaged analytics tools, you can define your own event data model and schemas that will allow you to capture and store the exact data points that are relevant to your business. For example, with Snowplow, you can capture every click, page view, and user interaction on your website or app, and that data lands straight in your data warehouse. Then you can use that data to create your own custom metrics and reports without relying on a third-party tool to do it for you. The benefits of a warehouse-first approach to product analytics are many, but here are a few key advantages. The first is greater data control and ownership. By capturing and storing all of your data in your own data warehouse, you have full control and ownership over your data. You can define your own data schemas and structure and make changes as your business needs evolve. You also have access to more granular insights. With a warehouse first approach, you can capture and store every single event that occurs in your product or service. This allows you to get much more granular insights into user behavior, which can help you make much more informed product decisions. You also have better data accuracy and reliability. Because you're capturing and storing your own data, you can ensure that it is accurate and reliable. You can validate your data before it goes into your data warehouse, saving your analysts a huge headache, and clean it up if necessary. You'll also find that you have increased flexibility and scalability. With a warehouse first approach, you can scale your data infrastructure as your business grows. You can add new data sources, change your data schema, your destinations, and build new reports and dashboards as needed. In conclusion, going warehouse first with your product analytics can really transform the way you make decisions and grow your business. By capturing and storing your own data, you have greater control, flexibility, and accuracy, which can lead to better insights and ultimately better product decisions.